anybody that knows um, engine design knows that um, this is not a waste spark motor, so we need to be able to identify which top set dead center we're on, compression or overlap. Older models use a crank angle sensor off of the gear reduction, so it had uh, the ability to figure that out. This system uses map sensors and the crank angle sensor, so it's able to derive from manifold pressure and the pulses that come off of this where the actual engine is in relative position yeah. to um, the crank. There's some motors like Aprilia SXVs. If you time this wrong, it runs way spark for two minutes and then goes to where it should be. So that bike runs like a dream for two minutes and shuts off because it's way sparking for the first two minutes. And then when it goes to normal spark, it drops the engine out because everything's backwards. So with that motor, technicians learn early on, you have to do it exactly how they state. So Ducati gives you two ways. We put it at any top dead center in the back and locked it down and did our rear. Now the one that we picked for the front is very important. So the specifications say 450 degrees of crankshaft revolution after the rear is timed to do the front. So to proceed, Sean's gonna pull the crank lock out of the other side and free the crank up. We got our degree wheel, I'm zeroing it out to this dowel pin or um, set screw. So we're gonna go 450, which will be one revolution plus 90 degrees. Ready? I'm ready. So there's 90, 180, oh. oh, crank not getting loose. Oh, it did. Yeah. So we're not we're not in trouble yet. I'm gonna go pull it in here. I'm gonna go back to TDC. Torque down that nut. Especially mm -hmm. the bigger. But it must bears. have a fair amount of tension in the rings, too. No, actually, really light. Is that right? It's super light. Yeah. Five. Oops, yeah, five. Sorry. That's fine. Thought I had the right one. My age, five, six millimeters. Close enough. Eh, whatever it takes. <laughs> you know, oh, he's still, I can't tell that joke. He's still filming. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good that you can do that freehand. That's right. You can have four. You just get a shot of Kyle's butt. Kyle. Yeah, <laughs> actually, actually, Sean, yeah, it's only shooting. Hey, all right. What's the cold piston to look like? I've never made it. Guess it's probably around two and a half. Yeah. I'd say it's probably two and a half, two feet, two point eight. I think it's going to be up there. That big a bore. Yeah, Although they're both aluminum. But the deal is they're both aluminum, that's exactly right. And if you think about the focus and friction, it, it, you would think that they would, I, I don't know what that alloy is or what the fusion is, yeah. but it certainly Some would make course. sense that it's probably as similar to what the piston is. Right. Or I would actually see it would probably be a little less, you know, more, more towards an 1100 than, than a high, a super high silicone because then you get a little bit more expansion. Oh. Whatever it is, it's pretty good. Right to where we should be. Like I said, you know, back there, I'm not sure. You have to look at it. You know, it's not a 5 8 minute just sitting there warming itself right now. It's just two or three minutes of stuff for That's my signal, sir. Okay. Let them walk. Exactly right. Yeah. Other way. Yep. Right, uh, right there. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Okay, ready? Crank locks out? Yep. yep. Okay, 90. 180. 270. 360. A little bit back. Oh, we should have to go. Um, should have to go more for sure. Right. Now you're almost there, just a snap. Right there. Yep. Okay, then I'll get it back. Is it starting? Yeah. Oh, no, it's not. There we go. Got it? Go ahead. <laughs> you locked. So now the cam or the crankshaft is locked in the proper position to assemble the front. So we have this. I'll bump these out for you. Um, we have the same situation where we have to line it up on a gear tooth, not a valley. Two for two. I don't see too many threaded or in the class. Yeah, right. Okay. Cool. Let's play a few screws. You just feel something like that. You know? Then you think about the size. You, you, you expect to pick it up and have it be really heavy. And it's really it's thin wall. It's got a small spring, lead hole. You know, there's a, there's a drain. Once it's pressurized, there's a damper at the end. Casting yeah. Center. Look at the features in the bottom there. Yeah, gross. Yeah. They're holding something in there. Yeah. You know, they, they've staked that for some purpose. 